Some folks have been having problems getting 360 videos onto YouTube in HD format. I'll take you through the software that I use uh, to achieve this. I use the app and the desktop software and a special piece of software called the Metadata Injector. Now, you don't need to use the a smartphone app to control the theta camera. You can simply use the record button on the phone it's on the camera itself. Uh, but if you install the app and uh, connect to the camera's Wi-Fi, you can uh, control the camera a little bit easier, particularly if it's on the end of a, a selfie stick and, and you want that high shot without you being in the shot itself. It's a, it's a much easier way to control the camera. So hit record, record your uh, video after connecting via Wi-Fi. And remember, if you need maps during this process, you must download them first because you don't have internet access while you're connected to the Theta's Wi-Fi. Then connect the camera to your desktop. Uh, and all being well, uh, the desktop machine will recognize the camera's uh, drive capability and uh, pop up a display showing you uh, access to the uh, file uh, system on the device. Uh, click on that and uh, navigate uh, all the way through to the newly recorded video. And we'll be using uh, 10,008 here. Drag it to um, the hard drive. Best to run it off the hard drive as it's quite intensive processing and you want the fastest speed possible. And once you've got it on a folder on your hard drive, you need to start the desktop uh, theta application from uh, Rego uh, and then again uh, I find the drag and drop doesn't work too well on, on this screen so I just use the file open display uh, navigate to the correct uh, folder and pick out our uh, newly captured video now you can select the uh, output folders here. I've, I'll create a, a special folder for this. Let's call it rendered. And then you can change the file name or just leave it as a default and it'll put ER as an a, a, a appendix on the end of the uh, file name and hit start. Uh, it takes a long time to render. Uh, I mean, it depends on the length of the video, but uh, uh, e even just a few seconds can take a, a little bit of time. I'll speed this up, but this is a eight core uh, 2.6 uh, gigahertz um, machine with 32 gigabytes of RAM and as you can see on the top right it's uh, hitting 70% CPU utilization. Now once this is rendered uh, the Theta uh, application will drop you straight into a pretty decent uh, quality 360 video and you'll be able to drag the screen around. So the next trick we need to do is we need to inject some spherical metadata that uh, Google will pick up on and uh, render the video in HD format. So this is the 360 video metadata tool or metadata injection tool. Again, links in the description to that and you'll see one on the screen as well uh, at some point and navigate to our rendered file uh, click just the spherical checkbox and then you can uh, save that with a new file name it puts injected at the end of it so then just upload that file directly to YouTube and after a, a short delay you'll get a 360 video in a low resolution format and a little bit later it will have rendered it in HD format and uh, if you found this useful please give me a thumbs up and you can click right there to see the 360 video used in this example um, any questions any uh, complaints please put them in the comments I'll do my best to answer them.